In this video, I explain about vapor pressure and cavitation. So first we understand about the vapor pressure. It change from liquid state to gaseous state is known as a vaporization. Means substance is converted from liquid state to gaseous state. It is known as the vaporization. Means water is converted into a steam. It is called as the vaporization. Vaporization occur because of continuous escaping of the molecules through the free liquid surface. Vaporization means which is depends upon the preliving pressures and the temperature condition. So generally we know that the vapor or a steam is created at the 100 degree but at atmospheric pressure. But when we reduce this pressure of water, the steam is created at the lower temperature than the 100 degree centigrade. Consider liquid means we can consider water which is confined in a closed vessel. Now here we see this is the closed vessel and in the closed vessel we fill the water. Let the temperature of liquid is 20 degree and the pressure is atmospheric pressure. This liquid is vaporized at 100 degree centigrade means we consider this temperature of the water is 20 degree pressure is 1 atmosphere then the vapor is created at 100 degree centigrade when we supply some heat energy to the water. When vaporization takes place, the molecule escape from the free surface of the liquid means when the vaporization is takes place, the molecule escape from this free surface. So this is the free surface of the liquid. These vapor molecules get accumulated in the space between the free liquid surface and the top of the vessel. Means this vapor molecule get accumulated in a free surface, means in a this surface, and they can also accumulated in the free liquid surface, means between these two water molecules there is some space, then the steam is present there or vapor is accumulated there. So here we see this dot is indicated, it is the steam particles that is accumulated in a free space above the water level. This accumulated vapor exert a pressure on the liquid surface. So this pressure is known as the vapor pressure of the liquid. So after the sometimes here the steam is increasing then what happened? This steam or vapor particles is applied some pressure on this liquid surface. It is called as the vapor pressure or this is the pressure at which the liquid is converted into vapor means we can also say that at the particular pressure the liquid is start to convert into the vapor this pressure is also known as the vapor pressure now again consider the same liquid at the 20 degree centigrade at the atmospheric pressure in a closed vessels if this pressure over the liquid surface means here we reduce this pressure by some means means we can create this vacuum or anything and if we reduce this pressure in this closed vessels so boiling temperature will also reduce so if the pressure is reduced to such an extent that it become equal to or less than the vapor pressure the boiling of liquid will start through the temperature of liquid is 20 degree centigrade means we can reduce this pressure here up to the certain level that the vapor is start to create at the 20 degree centigrade thus liquid may boil even at the ordinary temperatures ordinary temperature means it is liquid may boils means liquid may converted into vapor at the ordinary temperature like as the 20 degree centigrade if the pressure over the liquid surface is reduced so as to be equal or less than the vapor pressure of the liquid at the at that temperatures means it is not necessary that the vapor is created 100 degree we are also able to create the vapor or steam at the 20 degree centigrade now we can understand the concept of cavitations before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines or other subject of mechanical engineering for fmhm subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for more subject i request to visit the playlist 
नाउ कंसिडर द फ्लोइंग लिक्विड इन अ सिस्टम अर्लियर इन अ टू एग्जांपल व्हाट वी कंसिडर इट इज इन अ क्लोज सिस्टम नाउ व्हाट वी आर कंसिडर इट इज इन फ्लोइंग लिक्विड इन अ सिस्टम मींस वी कैन कंसिडर दैट इज अ वन पाइप एंड इन द पाइप द स्टीम इज फ्लोइंग और लिक्विड इज फ्लोइंग ओके मींस इट इज अ फ्लोइंग सिस्टम इफ द प्रेशर एट एनी पॉइंट इन दिस फ्लोइंग लिक्विड बिकम इक्वल टू और लेस देन द वेपर प्रेशर then the vaporization of the liquid is start so earlier we can understand the vapor is created from the liquid at the vapor pressures so we can consider there is a one pipe in this pipe the water is flowing okay and in a, in this pipe the pressure is reduced in a certain portion so in this less pressure region the vapor is created this bubble of vapor are carried away by the flowing liquids in the region of the high pressure where they collapse and giving the rise to the high impact pressures the vapor bubble is create in a vapor pressure region means in a low pressure regions and this vapor bubble is flow with the liquid and this vapor bubble is reach in a high pressure regions so in a high pressure regions this vapor bubble is collapse and when this vapor bubble is collapse it's giving rise to high impact pressure and this pressure developed by the collapsing bubble is so high that the material from adjoining boundaries get eroded and cavities are formed on dams so this phenomena is known as the cavitations so when this bubble is collapse so this bubble is collapse near to the some materials means suppose the bubble is collapse near to the pipe materials okay the pipe is made from the metallic materials okay so they are collapse near the boundaries of the pipe so due to this collapsing some material is eroded from this pipe and that the some small small cavities are created in this pipe so it is called as the cavitation phenomena so due to this vapor bubble small small cavities is create so it is called as the cavitations hence the cavitation is the phenomena of formation of vapor bubble of a flowing liquid in a region where the pressure of the liquid is falls below the vapor pressure so in a low pressure regions the vapor bubble is created and this vapor bubble is flowing with the fluids and it reach in a high pressure regions where it is collapse so that is called as the sudden sudden collapsing of this vapor bubble in a region of high pressures so when the vapor bubble collapse very high pressure is created and the metallic surface above which this liquid is flowing is subjected to this high pressure which cause pitting action on the surface of the metal and thus cavities are formed on the metallic surface hence the its name is given the cavitation so here we understand the two phenomena one is the vapor pressure second one is the cavitation so cavitation is depend on the vapor pressure so thank you for watching this video if you understand something then like the video and don't forget to subscribe my channels and also share with your friends